All right, my boys. This video is why a man's true masculine form is him retaining on Seymour attention. And I need to really break it down to you guys because I quite honestly think that society doesn't want us to know this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how there's like this little war going on masculinity and everyone's becoming gay or like trans or just men are soft in general. You know what I mean? It feels like there's lack of testosterone within guys and shit like that. Less lack of just determination and willpower. I think they want us to, you know what I'm saying? They don't want us to like let us know our true masculine form. And I believe a man's true masculine form is him on retention. And here's why. When I'm retaining, you know, you know what I'm saying? I feel as if there's another level to me. I truly feel this shit. I really feel it when I'm, you know what I'm saying? I done had mad stories to go upon when I was training boxing or when I was, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I play sports or whenever I'm on my YouTube shit or whatever, I'm getting things done like this. I am on the grind. You know what I'm saying? I am focused. I'm locked in. I don't care about what anything else is going on. You know what I'm saying? Within life or whatever, going to clubs, parties, video games, all that nut shit. I don't give a fuck about it. But a true man's masculine form is him on retention because this finally takes us away from our natural desires of chasing women. You know what I'm saying? You know when you're just thinking about women, you're on Tinder, you're on Pornhub or whatever the fuck, and you are just busting nuts and you're becoming more tired and you just don't feel yourself. That's the exact opposite of what happens within your own life when you are retaining. The lack of women and, you know what I'm saying, the necessity of women, you don't put them on a pedestal, you know what I'm saying? I don't really give a fuck about that right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the trenches, I need, I need some money, you see what I'm saying? I need some bread to my pocket, so that's the only thing that I'm focused on is getting this money, growing my business on YouTube, doing what I gotta do, working on my things that I have going on in real life, and I'm truly focused. It's like... Picture this, you're on a road path, right? This road path, while you're on retention, only goes straight. You see what I'm saying? But when you give in to your natural burning desire to want to have sex or to chase sex or some guys even pay for sex, you know what I'm saying? And even in the form of paying for sex is like paying for OnlyFans or paying for subscriptions like that. So a lot of men go within those routes of paying for all that shit. I don't pay for it. For me, it's more so just like going outside, getting women and just having sex and getting them, you know what I'm saying, and talking to them and just end up having sex, right? But a man's true masculine form is him going straight on, right? This is the road path that he takes when he's on retention. He does not care about women, you know what I'm saying? And women being, for me, the biggest distraction in my life. I don't give a fuck about video games. I do not care about partying or clubbing, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about, you know what I'm saying, what society else cares about, like... You know what I'm saying? Just degenerate things, doing drugs, all that nut shit. I don't give two shits about. But the true urge of a man is always going to be there. Like, I wake up every morning. I tell you guys this all the time. I wake up every morning. And, bro, you just wake up with a fucking missile every morning because you are retaining, bro. And your testosterone's increasing. But understanding that you are now disciplined to your sexual nature and your sexual desires... And you're using it for a better pathway to stay on this pathway, to grind consistently day in and day out, not care about anything. Using it for the gym, using it on self-improvement, using it for my ideas, for my videos, reading books, taking care of myself, not prioritizing anything else but yourself. That is a true man's masculine essence, his form, right? So that pathway that you're on is a lonely pathway. No one wants to follow the road path of, putting off sex you know what i'm saying for me especially since i can get sex i know a lot of guys can't get sex so you know what i'm saying they revert to beating off to porn or to you know what i'm saying paying for only fans and all that nut shit i don't bro that or paying for prostitution or whatever the fuck i don't know how you guys get off but i know a lot of guys follow these weird ass pathways because i've done seen dudes in real life and i'm just like i could never be you that's why i made that fucking patreon for the ism wait for that you see what i'm saying but when a man is solely focused on his goals and he don't give a fuck about anything else, that is the ultimate pathway of a man. And it's a lonely ass road. When you get rid of all the drugs, you give a fuck about, I mean, you get rid of um video games, you get rid of all of this nut shit, all the things that are distracting you, all of the vices, drugs, smoking, whatever it is. 
that is a lonely road because more times than not your friends want to go party your friends want to go fuck some bitches you notice like all the guys that i know and i hung around all they do was chase ass chase ass where the hoes at where the hoes at where the hoes at shit like that you know what i'm saying and for a part of my life you know what i'm saying i'm 21 years old but i could realize where my sexual energy makes me way greater and why i need to hold on to it for a majority of my life i was that dude where like yo where the fuck the hoes at you know anywhere we went is like we smoke weed we call it the bally the bitches and <laughs> i forgot what it's called it was like the triple b we call it like we're the bally and the bitches bally meaning where's the weed and where's the bitches like you know what i'm saying and that was like our motto for a minute me and the homies for a minute was our motto where's the bally and where's the bitches straight up like that but since i distanced myself you know what i'm saying from my friends in a way where they're all back home i'm over here i'm alone you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm by myself but i love being by myself it's fine because i'm literally on the grind you see what i'm saying but that lonely pathway of you just working on yourself day in and day out this is a pathway that no one wants to go through you know what i'm saying but while retaining and you're not focused on pussy you're not focused on busting nuts you're not focused on pleasure you are able to do a lot of different things that a lot of people deem is hard, but for you, it's just a regular day. You know what I'm saying? For people like me or just people who see my life from like an outer point of view, you know what I'm saying? They think I'm doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm making these videos. I'm hitting the gym. I'm endlessly in this fucking room talking to you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing to get to unlock where I want to be to be that ultimate version. That is a lonely pathway and doing it day in and day out it's extremely hard you know what i'm saying some days you feel as if you're on top of the world you feel as if you can do anything and then there's some days that you feel like shit i don't want to do nothing you see what i'm saying but this lonely pathway is designed for the man who is not indulging in anything that is going to take him away from what he got going on and it's it's, it's it gets dark sometimes you know what i'm saying like sometimes I'm just in this room i'm just feeling the urge to go outside and just be outside, go to a party, go to the club, go drink, go do something. But it's not going to get me where I need to be. You see what I'm saying? And it's a retention just in society where if you fuck a lot of women, you are deemed as higher. You are, you get the male respect. You tell your homies, oh, I fuck this bitch, yada, yada, yada. They give you respect. You know what I'm saying? And in a way, I do respect some guys who do get women, you know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of guys who be doing all this simpy shit, who pay for pussy, who pay for OnlyFans. So, you know what I'm saying? I do respect you for knowing how to talk to girls, but that's not where you are supposed to get your wins from. This is not where you're supposed to gain your confidence from. This is not where you're supposed to be seen as higher from. In my way, in my point of view, the man who is locked in day in and day out, who hits the gym at around the same time that I do, who who's there day in and day out, who's there when there's no one there, that's the guy I really give my respect to. You see what I'm saying? That's the guy who's like, okay, I can see you. You one of me. You see what I'm saying? And on this road path, it is lonely. It gets lonely because you are destined to go straight on retention with the most beautiful thing in the world. And everyone else's road path, they go out to weed. They go to drugs. They go to the parties. They go to the bitches. It's endless. It's a lonely road. That's all I'm saying to you guys is this is why this is you on your masculine your true form using your sexual energy to get to where you want to be to see the visions to get the genius thoughts and the ideas all the benefits that we get from retention it gets so fucking deep and you know what i'm saying yo hit that subscribe button because i'm going to unlock and get the information that i need there's going to be a couple books that i have under you know what i'm saying that i need to order from amazon to go in to give y'all some more knowledge you know what i'm saying i already went over the think and grow rich book and the outwitting the devil book but i'll reread that shit and just get more information and more knowledge to give to you guys you know what i'm saying but i got some other books this is a book called the coiled serpent and i'm just i'm dying to read that book bro but you know what i'm saying this is why i think the mass society is trying to hold this withhold this from men as well because yo you literally get superpowers when you hold on to your seed it's as easy as that it's if it was as easy as that plain black and white everyone would do it you know what i'm saying everyone that wakes up with that morning wood they end up probably beating off you know what i'm saying later on in the day they can't control the urges that is not a real man that's not what we are designed to be doing is to ejaculate to fucking women online not even in real life mostly bro that's where i quit all of that porn shit because i seem to as so gay where i'm like yo this dude's fucking a girl i want to fuck but i'm over here playing with myself too 
get off. Like, that shit is lame. Like, if I'm going to get off, I'm going to go get a girl outside. You see what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It gets so much deeper than just regular female attraction, all of this shit. It really designed you. Like, semen retention designed you to give you that confidence and willpower to stay locked in. That's what I've realized. From the times where I was really growing on my channel, like, when I was first, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I went from, like, a 1,000 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers, bro. I felt like I was making the best videos of my life. Like, that's where I was so fucking locked in. Where I didn't care about nothing else. And nothing else but YouTube. And I was growing endlessly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep making the videos that I want to make. But this is just really on retention in my, my experience. I don't think they want men to know this shit. Because you are really... You can literally achieve anything that you believe. But you will get this willpower when you are on, you're on retention you'll get this confidence you'll get this next level to you when you're retaining i swear to you bro I, I, i'm not lying bro it's like even when i was playing like sports you know what i'm saying when i'm playing ball seriously there's just another level to me when i'm retaining i'm telling you like there's another fierce aggressive just animalistic type of energy that i give off on the court that even some people are just like they, they can't fuck with me in a way worse. I got a few homies that they're like, yo, bro, why you take the bullshit serious? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, bro, I don't want to play no dilly dally ass game. I want to get into I want to I want to struggle in the game of bull. Like, I want this dude to lock me up so I can get tight and just really just go give him buckets like to get the best version out of me. You know what I'm saying? They say iron sharpens iron. But for most people. They're just weak-minded. I just want the comp. You know what I'm saying? I want the competition. And even in my story when I was boxing, bro, when I was retained for like a month straight, I was literally locked in. I wanted to fight the best fighters in this boxing gym. Then, long story short, I ended up meeting this girl, bro, on the weekends. We going in for rounds, bro. Three three rounds every Saturday and Sunday for, for months on end. And I lost that the fire and desire that I had to continuously keep boxing. I lost that that urge to just want to rock everybody in they shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't care for boxing boxing as much. You know what I'm saying? So I understand once you are retained, you really do get this supernatural type of superpower that they talk about. But a lot of people just talk about like this regular ass female attraction shit. Like I got stories upon stories, but I don't even want to talk about that no more like that. I want to talk about the deeper parts of this shit like it gets deeper you know what i'm saying i need to get more information upon this shit you know what i'm saying there's a reason why monks hold on to their seed and they're like the fucking strongest minded humans to ever walk this earth you know what i'm saying within spiritualism and buddhism they hold on to their seed um there's something called brakarmia where i got i don't i don't want to say it in the wrong way but there's another level to this shit where it's all about being celibate not even you know what i'm saying having sex you know what i'm saying and there's another dude that I completely looked up to for months on end that his name is Miyamoto Mushashi and he's that fucking guy. Like don't don't get it twisted. He's one he he got the stamp from me that yo, that's a certified real one. Not a question, right? So Miyamoto Musashi, he he's one of them ones. He was a a Japanese samurai, right? And he devoted his life to be becoming the greatest samurai that he could possibly be. And of course he was on retention. But he took the path of the lonely samurai where he didn't talk to a lot of people. He ain't talked to no one, literally. He would live in the woods, meditate in the woods, train in the woods day in and day out, building his his higher self, becoming the best version of himself. And throughout all of those times, like that whole time, it was about probably like 30 years, 40 years as a samurai fighter. You know, as you age, you're not going to keep doing that. He was 62 and 0. You know what I'm saying? This is no boxing. This isn't no sports were like you know what i'm saying even mma you know these are dangerous sports but but samurai swordsmanship and sword, samurai fighting there is no live to the next day it's you die or i die you see what i'm saying and he went 62 and oh meaning he defeated and killed 62 dudes bro ultimate greatness this is what seamer attention will lead you to i'm telling you it's a lonely road they are trying i feel as if the higher ups of this world do not want this information to come out that the semen, like your semen is the ultimate, true, powerful thing that will make a man a man. I swear to you. Think about it, bro. When you bust a nut, two nuts, three nuts with a shorty, you just don't give a fuck. You want to lay down. You want to sleep. You're, you're not there. You're not to that next level that you want to be at. But go ahead and retain 
for a month, two months, keep retaining and see how hard it is to one retain and to control these sexual desires. That shit, that's what really makes a man too. Is putting off the 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 sexual desires and not digging deep into, you know what I'm saying, indulging into the sexual desires. You know what I'm saying? It's withholding it and using it for great value and to better your life. You know what I'm saying? It, it's really deep, bro. There's so many people that I can talk about that have done this shit and you know what i'm saying one of my favorite people that i look up to was patrick Beth david you know what I'm saying? he has the same name as me shout out to bro he's a real one too he shows up day in and day out into his business i, I respect that nothing but respect for people who i see as me you see what i'm saying but they're higher than me but i still see what is me you dig what i'm saying but nothing but respect for bro because he went 17 months at 24 years old withholding his seat or 23 years old 17 months of semen retention and became great. He made his business and his business started fucking booming. Using his sexual energy, using the ideas, the genius ideas that you start to get while you're on retention to the best of his ability to use it to be to create who he wants to be, to be, create himself as a great man. And it's nothing but respect for him. Nothing but respect for him and his business. And he became great. If you search up Valuetainment or Patrick Beth Davis net worth, bro, he up 500 mil minimum. Like, I'm talking about minimum. You see what I'm saying? I want to get to the place where I'm making all this money. And this is where I'm detaching myself from society where, oh, you need to be fucking these bitches. Like, because in my head, it's something that is engraved that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? For most people, you grew up, like, thinking, yo, you have to fuck bitches or have sex with as many girls or just have sex in general. Cause it's just like you like a, a stamp. It's like you get to stunt on other dudes because you have sex or you can get sex from other girls. And like I said, I still respect some guys who like, you know what I'm saying, who really get mad women because there's a there's a weird point. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not like I respect them because oh he has mad bitches. It's, I respect them because he's not scared to talk to a girl like how everyone else is, or you know what I'm saying? Like he's not scared to go and approach a girl or talk to a girl, or you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of guys who are like weird and just completely weird that's why i'm making a fucking patreon to save people and save men because yo that that king like mentality that you start to get it all stems from retention too if you if you want to know about retention in the pimp and hoe game and all of that shit and getting way more women in your life and not just getting sex out of them wait for that fucking patreon it all stems from semen retention as well but that, that that's some shit don't nobody really analyze or even talk about right so wait for that fucking patreon i'm on the works right now i got my computer open too oh like i was saying society i have to i'm starting to detach from thinking that i gotta fuck all these women or you know what i'm saying that i am seen as cool if i fuck mad girls or whatever or if i get mad girls numbers like that shit is level one once you're able to get all of that that's level one like i already did all of that you know what i'm saying there's nothing to prove but in a way society if you grew up listening to rap music where it's like fuck bitches get money you know what i'm saying hearing shit like that you know what i'm saying just shit like that that shit starts to engrave in your head. It starts to, like, manipulate your mind. We're like, yeah, I gotta go fuck some bitches and get some money. But that doesn't even stem from you. It just stems from a belief that it's cool to get bitches or to fuck bitches. And, you know what I'm saying? That that you, you're you seen as higher because you fuck bitches. But it's like, I'd rather seen as, be seen as higher because my business is booming. Because I'm making money. Because I'm touching money that don't nobody talk about. That don't nobody even know about. You see what I'm saying? People can't even fathom to believe that you can attain that much money a month. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I listen to. That's the type of shit I, I I see as great because not a lot of people can achieve getting a lot of, you know what I'm saying, getting this fucking money. But everybody want to just go fuck some bitches. Everybody I know just want to go fuck some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there, done that. Like, it's like, how's your business? How How's your life? You know what I'm saying? And once I analyze and see that they're not living the way that I want to live, I got to stay, you know what I'm saying? I got to stay put in my, my own lane because they're prior to it. They're prioritizing women and fucking women over this money but the rule of the game is to never put money over bitches that's been the rule book since i was a young bull since i was a kid listening to that shit you're never supposed to put money over bitches you know what i'm saying but i feel as if we were like manipulated to put money over bitches or bitches over money which is never like no 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 like to, yeah to get like put money over bitches, fuck out of here, or to put bitches over money, fuck out of here, you see what I'm saying, I'm always gonna stay 10 toes on the grind, so I have to, like, get that, that belief out of your, your mind, it's all about the mind, what you're able to control is mind, you're able to control everything, you know what I'm saying, that's a whole separate video, though, but 
I feel as if they don't want us to know about semen retention. They don't want men to know about this shit. I'm telling you. Because if you can go a year on retention, I promise you your whole life will change in the aspect of getting women and the aspect of even of money in your business and what you want to do in your life. It's all going to change. It's all you're going to develop good things from retention because you are the next level of human. You are the next level of yourself. But I, yo, I, I, I truly believe they don't want us to know this shit. You know what I'm saying? It just stems from having, like, you don't understand, like, you fucking, you busting nut, bro. You could really have a kid, like, another human, another Patrick. Baby Patrick could come out of nowhere, like, like, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? How strong and powerful your, your, your seed is, but we just don't value it no more because we value fucking bitches. We value from, like, the hip-hop entertainment and all of the hip-hop or, or the rap music, all that, we value fucking his bitch, we value fucking mad bitches, we, we value these hoes before our goals, that's where I've realized everything has been manipulated and went wrong, that's not the way we were supposed to go, God don't even want us to have sex until marriage, if I don't have sex till marriage, he doesn't want me to uh, beat off by, by the time, like, you know what I'm saying, marriage would probably be like, say I get married around 30 years old, he wouldn't want me to have sex or beat off until marriage, Meaning until I'm 30 years old, meaning I would have been on retention for the whole my whole life if I followed the rule book. And is that the case? No, I haven't followed the rule book, but I'm starting to understand the rule book. I understand that if you hold on to your essence, even with the pimp game, it's crazy how I didn't have no idea about the pimp game. I just studied the game. I understood the game. I, got, I gained the knowledge and semen retention ties with the pimp game. That shit is crazy. But I truly believe the higher ups do not want men to know this because if a man stops putting pussy over his life, he will really become a great man, a powerful man, a leader, a, a real man. But I don't think they want us to know that shit. That's that's the truth that I truly believe. I don't think they want us to know this shit because we will become too powerful. You see how everything in the modern day society is getting pussyfied like every dude, he turning out to be gay. You know what I'm saying? Even within all of this shit, it's been, dem it's been demonic because if you look at the Olympics, all that demonic shit, I seen a fight in the, in the Olympics where it was a transgender. He, he hit a bitch with a left hook. Off the one hook, she, she quit the fight. You see what I'm saying? Bro, everything is coming gay. If you look at Kai Sinet and his, and his, his situation with his cameraman, I think, he was talking to little kids. Like, that's, that's bitch shit. That's weird shit. All pedophile weird shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Mr. Beast, his his best man's Chris or whatever. He became trans and started to talk to minors too. Yo, this shit is all unfolding. You got to realize the only way to win in the society is to stay strong-minded and stay on semen retention because that's where all of it comes from. Your confidence. Anxiety goes away. All of this shit goes away. Everything, you only get amplified when you're on retention. That's another thing. You only become greater when you're holding onto your seat. You only become greater. There is no decline. During this whole time of you holding your seat, it, you're only becoming a greater human being. You're only becoming a greater man. But they don't want you to know that. They're going to keep throwing these holes in your face. If you look on social media, Instagram, all of this shit is nothing but ass. You can go and try to learn about the gym like I used to. And I still do to this day. I'll go on TikTok. I'll go on YouTube, search up some videos. Thumbnails is nothing but ass. TikTok, nothing but like they're granting these women views likes all of that just because they got their ass in the thumbnail just because that ass is fat and everything like i right, cool but like like damn i get it but shit i'm trying to learn some shit how to get these biceps bigger like come on bro let me rock out like why everything gotta be about ass why everything gotta be about sex porn whatever the fuck and that's the realization that i really came to i don't think they want men to know this shit because a man's true masculine form is him on retention and as i soon start to really find the knowledge I'm going to give it to y'all, bro. So hit that subscribe button. But once I really understand it, as I already do, I already know about all of the benefits. I, I read all like two books already on retention, but there's some books that go even deeper, deeper into spiritual forms of who you can be as a man. There's something about like the Kundalini energy and all types of shit. Bro, I got to learn this shit. And I'm going to spit that shit. So hit that subscribe button, bro. But I don't think they want you to know this shit. I swear to God. Like, I, I swear to you. Like, ed, any man who's retained, like, he becomes him. Like, he he gets out of his his box of being insecure and all of that. He becomes 
a very confident man. I don't think they want us to know this shit. I'll keep it a fucking beam. You might think I'm crazy. But look, as I keep holding on to my seat, you're going to see where I get to. You're going to see all my, like, y'all going to see what I'm talking about. So, you know what I'm saying? I just hope y'all retain it, bro. Just stay strong on this shit, bro. Because I understand the feeling to want to go and fuck some bitches. I understand it. Because I'm not one of those guys who don't get ass. I can I can get ass all the time. Like, anytime I damn near want. If I put my mind to go getting some ass, I'm going to get some ass. But, yo, it is hard. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I wake up every morning with a fucking missile. And I just got to redirect that energy. And that that's be, that makes you a stronger man. You holding on to your seed. And fighting these natural urges. This is natural for a man. He's a, a natural state of a man is polygamous. Meaning he can go fuck and reproduce with anyone he wants. Any bitch he wants. It's hard to fight those urges. It's hard to fight those urges. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's going out to talk to other women. For you, it might be OnlyFans. For you, it might be porn. For all, for you, it might be some weird shit. But once you're able to overcome this, you will understand there's a next level to you that I believe the higher ups do not want you to, you know what I'm saying, to fi figure out. They don't want you to figure out all of this shit. You see what I'm saying? So I love y'all, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. So if you missed up on that, go hit that video, bro. Get some more knowledge for yourself, bro. And as I said, bro, Seamer Intention falls into the pimp game as well. So I I'm making my whole, you know what I'm saying, as my Patreon. You know what I'm saying? I got that Patreon coming out for you to get way more women, you know what I'm saying, if you're struggling. But also while retaining, which is crazy, how all of this shit max together. But you will understand once you go fucking cop that Patreon once it comes out. So, you know what I'm saying? You are the next level of yourself. You are great. You're higher. The best of the best. And I just need you to really believe this shit and understand it. And not to only believe it, but to know what you think what the fuck I'm saying. So, I love y'all, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got that Patreon coming out. And if you guys want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, I'm going to leave it in the description below. So, stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life. Trust me. I believe me, bro.